Your Google ads are approved, but they're not running. I've been in this position before and I've added accounts with this exact problem. And normally it's one of a few issues. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to start getting clicks and conversions in your actual account in case your ads are approved, but you're not seeing any results whatsoever. If you don't know who I am, my name's Matt. I run Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how to solve all of those issues. So sit back, relax and let's get into it. The first and foremost thing you should look into is budget. Generally, if your ads are approved, but you're seeing absolutely no results, chances are maybe your budget is just too low or your bid strategy is set too low as well. How we would go about changing that is pretty simple. We're gonna come over here into our Google Ads account. We're gonna click on campaigns. As you can see, we're gonna click on campaigns again. And you can get to it in one of two ways. One is just coming over here and hitting the gear icon or here hitting the settings icon and then doubling it and clicking it again. Same exact same thing. For this one, we're gonna click on the gear icon. And as you can see, we have all of our settings. What a bu small budget could be is maybe you've set it too low. It could be, let's say $5 a day and Google Ads just sees no way of getting any clicks for that amount and they're just not running the ad. In order to change that, you just click on this, change it to whatever you want. Maybe it's $100 a day, maybe it's $1,000 a day, maybe it's $50 a day. We're gonna switch it to $50 for this example. We're gonna click save, and that might start getting your actual impressions up, clicks up, sales up, uh, and you know conversions and sales, and all that great stuff. If that doesn't fix it, another thing you can do is look at the actual bidding strategy. Normally, we would recommend using maximize clicks in the very beginning. The reason for this is it allows you to get a lot of data in very quickly. You figure out what the average cost per click is normally around that time as well. And then once you have about 20 conversions, you flip it over to maximize conversions, and you start seeing very good results compared to maximize clicks. But the data gathering period is super important and you cannot skip that step. So in case you have set your maximum cost per click bid limit too low, you can check out our Google Ads keyword planner video. I think it shows you as well on how to actually find the correct bid limit. Normally you just go into the keyword planner, you look for the high end of the page bid limit. Normally the same or a little bit more is completely fine and you can start getting uh, actual clicks on this. Now you can always just check this off and only just set it to maximize clicks without an actual bid limit. Normally I don't love doing that because sometimes it will just spend a crazy amount of money on random clicks for whatever reason. Google Ads isn't perfect. So I like putting in a fail safe of some type of bid limit so it doesn't spend $100 on a click. So for this example, let's do $15. I always recommend adding a decimal point after this and adding pennies. The reason being is you actually are in a bid system and an auction house and those two pennies or three pennies will actually make a difference. So uh, for this example, we'll just do 0.25 and then we'll hit save. Now this should allow you to essentially rule out a budget problem. If all of these are good and Google ads isn't flagging you for any sort of budget, chances are not a budget problem at this point, And we can move on to our next step. The next step is probably gonna be search volume. And that is if you're not getting your ad in front of enough people, there's just not enough people out there for your specific product or service. How do we solve that? Well, there's a lot of ways you can. You can turn on the actual Google search partners network, which is back here in the settings, which is pretty easy to do. All we come down, all we have to do is come down here to networks, click on it, and then add the search network. Do not add the display network, it is terrible. I've talked about this in many a video. <laughs> it's absolutely horrendous, please don't use it. But the search network will allow you to actually get on other websites and essentially companies that have partnered with Google to essentially make the ad process easier for them. You can display on other search networks, which is cool. Uh, the issue is it's not as monitored as Google's organic search, so be wary when testing this out. All we have to do is hit save and we're good to go. Another thing you could do is come in here to your actual campaign. We'll come in here. Let's see what ad groups are active. Uh, all of these are active. Let's do, you know, pool installation. Maybe our keywords are in exact match type. In that case and scenario, all we'd have to do to expand the available impressions we're able to get would be simply switch the match type up. So if we were an exact match, we could essentially just go from exact match to phrase match or phrase match to broad match. Super simple, super easy, and very quick. Uh, of course, all you have to do to change this, click on this under match type, very easy to do. If for whatever reason you do this, you're still not getting any views or impressions, what you can do is then add more keywords. Go back to the keyword planner, find more keywords and add them in. That's also something that is worth looking at. I just released a video on how to actually do keyword research, find the best keywords for your campaign, make sure they're profitable. That video is worth a look if you're having issues not having enough keywords. And of course, the amount of keywords for every account is gonna be different, so there's no specific amount, but you do wanna make it somewhat manageable. I wouldn't say have 100 keywords in one ad group, 
that's going to be ridiculously difficult to manage. Um, so I normally stick anywhere from five to 15 keywords in an ad group, you should be fine. Of course, you can always build more and more ad groups later on. Now, if this still hasn't worked, you can always come into the actual location settings, which can be found if we go back into our campaigns, click on the gear icon, and then our actual location settings should pop up right here. And as you can see, we're targeting all of Ontario and we have a few excluded locations. If we want to add more, we can simply hit advanced search and add in whatever we like. Very simple to do, but very important. If you don't have a big enough area and you're only targeting one small city, maybe there's just not enough people there for you to actually get impressions on. And that is something I see quite commonly where people are like, hey, I want to run Google ads, but only in a 10 mile radius. And there's only a thousand people living here and no one's searching for pool installation in January. There's your problem. You need a bigger area, which <laughs> quite frequently happens, which is uh, shocking to me sometimes. Now, moving forward with targeting settings is another super important thing, which is the actual audience settings, which I've seen a few times. People I say this in my search campaign tutorial video, but sometimes people just don't listen to me. Under audiences, we can come over here, click on audiences, and there's two settings. There is an observation mode, and then there is also the targeting mode. If we click on show table, we see all of the audience segments we are not targeting. We are in observation mode. As you can see, this is a demo account, so it's not targeting anything right now. But if we click on audience segments and we click on campaign level, we can see targeting in observation mode. If you have it in targeting, your search will be limited to these demographics and in market segments and whatever else you add to this. This can be good, it can also be bad, especially if these are very limited. If there's only a hundred people in this specific area or in this specific audience, you're going to be very limited on the amount of people who can actually see these ads. So please make sure, at least in the beginning, when you're trying to get it going, you have it in observation mode, not targeting. All you have to do is click on observation, hit save and you're good to go. Now, the next thing you also wanna look at is where and when your ads are displayed. Like I said, in the location part, that is pretty self-evident. You need a decent area to actually have these campaigns displayed. What we're gonna do is actually change the times these actual ads are showing up. In case you're only appearing one day a week, I've seen people set this up improperly, the actual times, or they are confused about the time zone. Uh, what you can do is click back on all of your campaigns, make sure you're not just selecting one campaign, click audience keywords, and then come down to add schedule. You can also click on locations here as well. But as you can see, all of the different campaigns and everything here, we can adjust for the actual ad schedule, which is fantastic. So if we click on this, we can see that they are added uh, Mondays, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. all the way to Fridays, 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. So that's great. Maybe you want to change that. Very easy to do. We can just add a schedule. We could add Saturdays and Sundays or all days or change this. Very easy to do, but something that is sometimes overlooked and very important inside Google Ads to make sure it's correct. Because if you have the improper times, your ads may not be running as well as they could be. Now, the next thing I would look into is the actual quality of our ads keywords, and essentially the message match of what Google Ads wants. Google Ads wants you to have a keyword that has an ad that is relevant to the keyword the person just typed in, and they are sent to a landing page that represents that ad. So if someone types in, for example, pool installation, your ad says looking for pool installation, click here, get a free quote, and then they're taken to a landing page where they can get a free quote and a social proof and they can enter their information. Google Ads wants a nice, easy journey for the customer. However, if you have a terrible ad or the keyword isn't aligned well with the actual ad or the landing page, you can have a bad quality score. Now, sometimes this is so bad and normally anything below three won't run. It's ranked on a system one to 10. If you have a 10, Google essentially gives you a bonus and it's happy and it's like, hey, these ads are fantastic and we'll essentially discount the cost per click a little bit. But if it's low and below five, normally you're going to get a little bit of tax on that. And sometimes Google ads will go so far as to just stop showing your ad. So it's important to take note of where your quality score is, especially if you're not seeing any impressions or anything like that. What you can do is segment by the campaign you wanna look at, hit search keywords under the audience keywords and content section. And then we're gonna come over here to columns. In case you don't have this added, what you can do is come over here to columns. Very easy, just type this in quality score, add this, hit apply. And now when we come across, you'll see quality score. If this all has one out of 10, chances are it's a quality score issue. Google doesn't like your ads, Google doesn't like your landing page, and doesn't like the keywords you're going after for whatever reason. So you're gonna to have to restructure the account. You're gonna to to have to build out new ad groups, which align the keywords with the ads and the landing pages. 
And if you can do that, chances are you're gonna have a good quality score and you're not gonna to have to worry about not getting any impressions, clicks, or conversions later on. So something very important to look at. The next thing I would look at is going into your actual ads and making sure there's no policy violations. This also comes across with the keywords as well. Maybe you're in a specific industry that uh, you're not allowed to bid on those specific keywords for whatever reason, that normally flags. And it will say status here, you can hover over, it'll be like, keyword can't run because of policy violation, yada, yada, yada. You can easily fix this by either getting in contact with Google, filling out the correct form. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with this or appealing the ad overall. What you can do is also click on ads. And again, look at the status here, hover over it, make sure that there is no status violations because this is going to essentially pause your ad with it still being active. And that could be a big reason as to why you're not seeing any impressions, even though the ad is running. What you can do in this situation is just appeal the ad or get in contact with Google ads as well. This is something that we've had to do in the past where the account looks great, but we're not seeing any impressions whatsoever. We get in contact with Google and they go, yep, there's something flagged on your account. They take five minutes, they resolve it, and then the account is running within 24 hours. And they could only see it on their side for whatever reason. This doesn't happen a lot, but we have experienced it in the past. So if that doesn't work as well, get in contact with Google Ads. They have a helpline, very, very easy to use. And I would highly recommend checking it out if all of this stuff has failed. Now, once you go through that entire process and worst case scenario, you get in contact with Google ads and they tell you exactly what's going wrong with your account. You're then gonna to need to optimize your account because it's gonna be running. And I would highly suggest checking out our Google ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link for it is down below. It walks you through on what to do on a weekly, monthly and three month basis. It also allows you to jot down your results so you know that you're making progress month over month. And it's just nice to have. Pilots have checklists and I'm clearly not as smart as a pilot, but it's just nice to have as a foolproof plan because sometimes I forget and it's just easy that way. Again, completely free and the link is down below. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about Google ads, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.